Welcome back to Muddy Mongoose Channel. Well, I'm back at Brayfoot again today. Um, I've returned again to try and once more session unweighting my bike to try and help me do drops. I've looked back at the video I did the other day and on my last few attempts it was not too bad. I could definitely see that the front wheel was staying up and I was coming off fairly level. But I feel that I just need to unweight it a bit more, have a bit more spring and pop as I'm going down and then coming up just to make sure I go off a bit more safely and then concentrate on trying to land on two wheels to allow me to do that bigger wall drop that I crashed off twice previously. The conditions today are very different from the last time I was here. Uh, last time it was like a dust bowl here but we've had a lot of really heavy rain in the last uh, couple of days so the place is actually very wet um, and all that fine dust has now turned into like this greasy slime sludge so that's going to be interesting uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to again session trying to lift the bike up unweighting it and then dropping off I'm going to do it from a slightly different takeoff area well they're almost right next to each other from where I was doing the other day the other day I was doing it across here which is a bit of a shallower um, landing but I'm going to do it today um, off here which has got a bit more of a step down and it drops away a bit more which is a bit more like the landing that I'll be doing if I go off the wall drop so I thought it was probably good to try and match it up more, a bit more similar uh, to what I'll be doing a bit more tricky I have to say I'm a little bit nervous about doing this uh, today just because the ground is pretty slippery and also because it's basically out of my comfort zone really uh, but I've been watching lots of videos, especially that Trail Boss video about how not to drop again uh, which I think is a really good video again I'll put a link in the description to it for anybody that's trying to work on drops because I think he gives a lot of good advice in that video well, here goes a very slight change of plan I think I'm going to do it a couple of times off the smoother one first just to get back into the swing of things rather than just going straight off this steeper drop but uh, because when I've been looking at the landing there's uh, actually quite a lot of roots on this landing um, so definitely make it a bit more tricky to actually land the bike so I think I'll, I'll take the safer option to start with and then I'll have a go in that other bit Safety first. So I've just watched back the video of me just doing that last wee um, take off there, drop uh, and I'm doing the compression fine but I'm not doing the lift at all so I need to work on lifting the bike up doing that upwards pop to really unweight the back wheel um, because according to Trail Boss that's the real key because if you don't unweight the back wheel properly if you hit any kind of obstacle just as you're about to go over you can hang the back wheel and make you go nose heavy over and with that wall there's a definite danger of doing that that's basically what I did um, both times when I crashed off that so I need to work on that so I'm going to give that another shot and try to do that upwards pop it's just it's hard to remember all these things and coordinate it all that's what sessioning is all about though I'm trying to practice and get better Well that one's okay, um, but it was definitely going way way too slow. I need to be travelling a lot faster because I noticed that when I was watching that back my front wheel did start to dip down quite a bit. I think I did the technique right, just that I was doing it too slow. So basically my back wheel was still on the top ledge for too long. If you're going faster it gets off quicker and you maintain that sort of level and um, travel off better. So 
I need to just do the whole thing. The compression, the pop-up, but at a faster speed. I'll give another shot. It is a wee bit hairy because when you're landing it's very slippy. It's very slippy because of all the mud today. But I've got good tyres now, so there's no excuses. <laughs> Well, I did faster, but I didn't do the compression and pop properly. I think those last few attempts were a lot better. Definitely going a wee bit faster. Trying to push down and get a bit more of that spring up. Seem to be better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move on to this other bit. Uh, the one I was saying about earlier. This bit here. So that's a bit I've just been going off. It's got a smoother run out. This one is more of a drop and it's also dips down and it's, there's quite a lot of hidden roots just there. It could be a bit funky when I land. <laughs> Let's give it a bash. So that was just a trial run really. See what it's like. And uh, because you're landing on quite a downward slope you suddenly get swept down. So it's a bit awkward. Right. Now to try it with the proper pop, compression and pop. I kind of bottled out doing the pop there because just doing the compression and the way I landed the first time it was like, there's, you've basically got to instantly lean in to turn to go that way, otherwise you're just going straight through all this bushes and I don't know if you can see it, there's actually a, here this is a big chunk of concrete big concrete slab so if uh, you just do it slightly wrong and crack off that it'd be very sore bottling it again I need to have another go by the stroke of genius I think what I'm going to do is put this camera that I'm filming from just now on this wee tripod on the corner of that slab so I can see it when I'm approaching just so I stay, make sure I stay well to the left of it because it's a bit concealed with uh, grass even though I've ripped some of the grass out just so I could see it more clearly so I think that's, I think that's quite a good idea Funny angle I didn't do that bit particularly well again. Far too slow, far too tentative, and I could see I went off quite nose heavy again. Um, I think the key for this bit is just to go faster, um, because the back wheel just getting hung up on the on the top, and by the time the front wheel's already starting to dip, by the time the front wheel, the back wheel's coming off, I think I've also mistimed the compression, and I was, again wasn't doing that pop-up lift uh, at all really. It's quite tricky today because it is very slippery but when you land it's bike slipping about a bit but not that bad. It's actually better today like this than it was when it was really dusty. So I think I need to practice this a bit quite a bit more before trying to go for that wall drop again. I really need to work on getting that wee bit of lift so I can come off safely. I fancy having a wee run down the hill or maybe doing one of the kicker jumps. Might try that. To kick a job. Similar ish kind of thing. Yeah, we'll give that a shot. 
Well, I was going to session this this kicker jump here, one I've done before, uh, but as you can see, it's a bit of a swimming pool. I've had so much rain the last couple of days, and going from so dry to so wet, it's obviously just not had a chance to soak away yet. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll do this, but I'll get stopped just going up the the ramp by this big massive puddle. Hmm. I need to find somewhere else to go now. I'm not going off it today. I'm just coming back to have another look at it. The wall drop. Gavin, the guy I met when I was out here, he suggested I go basically this kind of angle. It's a little bit shallower to land on and then curving there's Patterson he goes off here down over that where that stump is and goes basically straight down there's definitely a higher drop from that angle so I can understand Gavin's thinking but I do think it's quite difficult to get the, well for me not being that good to get turned and doing the compression and the pop and everything whilst turning at the same time. Mm. It's tricky. It's a difficult one. It's definitely a big step up in difficulty level. But that's for another day. So I've come back to the top of the hill. I'm going to have a run down the hill now. It's good to do sessioning things. Uh, I really enjoy that, I'm trying to improve. And what I would say is if anybody's actually watching this video um, and you're wanting to progress I really do recommend filming yourself whether you get yourself an action camera or use your phone phones are really good these days for filming um, but it really does um, help you see what you're doing wrong because um, sometimes you think you're doing things okay and then when you look at back you, you say what am I doing like when I was just sessioning those little drops there some of the times I thought I was doing okay but when I've looked at it back I can see that I'm just not getting that pop right I'm, I'm still going off nose heavy even though I didn't feel that I was really so it's very beneficial um, and I'll be using obviously I'm filming all this stuff anyway but uh, it really, really is a good learning aid so I'd highly recommend filming yourself if you if you can I'm going to go down G-Bomb. went down this the other day with Patterson and uh, that was in my warm-up run. It was so sketchy. Uh, I'm hoping that will go better today. But let's see. around that thing. How beautiful is this today? So still here at Brayfoot today. <laughs> the ground is sodden. That run down there, it wasn't as sketchy as the other day. But so much water, uh, it's slipping about. The ground is very wet. Um, it's just like, it's strange because it's like the opposite conditions, but it has similar effect. When it's really dry, you slip about a lot. And when it's really wet, you slip about a lot. 
and in between you've got a sweet spot where everything's just tacky uh, so maybe if it stays like it is just now for the next day or so it'll be perfect again but yeah a couple of bits there again on the brakes too much just not feeling it not it wasn't terrible but just not leaning in enough and end up slowing right down obviously I had to slow down because that gigantic puddle I wasn't going through that I spotted something that I've not spotted before so I've been down Justice line many times and if you've been following the channel you've seen me going down it lots of times and it's basically quite a straight run and then at the bottom is a series of berms but I've just noticed that you can actually go straight through the berms and it takes you down to another little bit of trail it takes you right down to the water's edge I've never even noticed before so I'm going to do that now I can't believe I've never spotted it till now Let's drop into Justice Rather than going through these berms, go straight through. Just down here. Stay rocky. Stay rocky. These are right back to where I just had some tea. I like that, that was good fun. It's actually it's got a wee bit steep there. Not too steep. Yeah, it's good to find something new. This has been right under my nose all this time. It's only taken me seven months to spot it. Mr. Observant. So I'm going to do my last little descent of the day. I'm going to go over that little rocky drop thing that I conquered the other day. Hopefully without crashing. Uh, it should be interesting because of the slippy conditions. Uh, hopefully I'll land it okay. Uh, it's been an interesting day. It's been a day of... I'm not sure progress is the right word, but at least I've been trying to get that compression and pop to try and unweight the bike so I can go off drops better. Uh, yeah, it's just going to take a lot more practice and then once I feel that I'm actually doing it properly then I'll have another go at doing that wall drop. But it could be some time before I try that, I think. Anyway, let's go on with doing this little rocky drop. Clip that, I think. Whoa, slippery all over the place. Slippery all over the place there. Ooh, sketchy. Yeah. It's too far back, so... Oh, well, I've done it again. Not so shabby. Well, it's been another good day on the bike. It's been uh, quite good trying to do those um, sessioning, trying to do the compressions and pop-up to unweight the bike so I can do the drop-offs. Not particularly successful, but this is what session's about, practicing, trying to get better. Uh, so yeah, I'll have to keep doing that and then eventually, hopefully, I'll be good enough to have another shot of doing that wall and hopefully I'll do it safely and successfully. Well, if you've liked the video, why not give it a thumbs up? If you like the channel, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.